Most online stores, including Amazon, sell different models of digital otoscopes that can be purchased by anybody for around $40 to $75. Depending on the model, it can come with its own monitor or a cable that can connect to a smartphone or a computer. Once turned on, the camera itself provides its own light source. First, make sure the camera is oriented so that you know which way is up. Digital otoscopes have a fixed focal length of about 2 to 3 centimeters, so if the camera is positioned too far away, the video image will go out of focus as you can see here. The diameter of the camera itself is about 3.9 millimeters with a viewing angle of 70 degrees and a depth of field of 20 to 30 millimeters. Before use, attach the adapter. Gently pull the ear backwards to straighten the ear canal. Slowly and gently insert the camera into the ear canal. All movement should be slow and gentle. If the image is off-center, tilt the camera angle to recenter. As you can see, this child has earwax debris present in the ear canal. In the distance, you can also see the eardrum. When examining the nose, slowly and gently insert the camera tip up against the nasal tip. Slowly adjust the camera angle such that it is perpendicular to the face. As you can see, the septum and nasal turbinates can be easily seen. A clear nasal passage can also be observed. Finally, a clear image of the mouth can also be obtained with a digital otoscope. A digital otoscope can provide essential information on the overall health of the ears, nose, and mouth in the comfort of your home and provide guidance on appropriate interventions during telemedicine visits during which a doctor would obviously be unable to perform a direct physical exam. Needless to say, digital otoscopes allow for both video and picture recordings to be taken.